How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with a little bit of age beer, a little bit of big beer, a little bit of, I don't know, beer, in the form of Goose Island Brewing slash AB and Bev. It is their Sophie. Now, this is a Belgian-style farmhouse ale. I've had this beer before. I have no idea how I have not reviewed this before, but it's been a while. Let's put it that way. Um, and... Uh, yeah, it was a local bottle shop today. I was like, you know, I kind of want something drinkable. Going to do an online hang with some of the beer guys later, and I want something I can sip on. And I was like, looking around, looking around, looking around, and lo and behold, there's this. And I'm like, you know, at first glance, I wouldn't necessarily be like, oh, man, I'm going to grab that because, I don't know, Goose Island, you know. I, not that I have anything against them, but on sale, $6 and change, sold. Seven fifty, a Saison that's aged. It's a 2016 version, mind you. And, uh, yeah, it, it says tart, dry, sparkling ale with spicy white pepper notes and hints of orange peel and creamy vanilla finish. Yeah, it's a Belgian-style farmhouse ale that's been aged on wood, right? Develops in a bottle over five years, contains live yeast, as sediment may form. Um, this is bottled July 26, 2016, so it's over a year old. Yeah, I think this, this says hits wood. I'm almost 99% sure. Yeah. Anyway, let's dive into this sucker. See what she's got. Um, where'd I put my wine key? I don't know if there's a cork in here or not, so I grabbed my wine key. Um, so, yeah. Pop into this. Yeah, no, no cork in there. Um, we'll see what's what. A ton of water in my glass. Got this big old fatty snifter out. I like using this one to drink uh, 750s. Trying to give this a proper pour. Don't want to get too crazy with it. So you're talking about, they say it develops up to five years. I'm sure it'll develop even better longer than that. Um, but yeah, we'll see what's what. Label-wise, it's very pretty. This is, I think this might be the year, either this year or the year before, is when they did the rebranding of the sister line, the Sophie and, and those kind of um, Rose and I forget the other ones. Um, but I think this is when they did the rebranding. I dig it. And I think it went from 500 mil to 750. Could be wrong on that. As far as this beer looks, I mean, it looks like a soft saison. Uh, beautiful, creamy, fluffy, slow pour head. If I kept pouring this and gave it time in between... Each pour, I'm pretty sure I can get the foam to stick that far out of the beer. Really aggressive kind of champagne-like carbonation on this sucker. I mean, look at that. I mean, that is pretty aggressive stuff. There's no kind of uh, agitator or anything in this glass. So, yeah. I mean, she looks the part. She looks like a champagne yeast-driven kind of farmhouse ale. It's good nose. Okay, a bit tartar than I remember. A bit tartar um, than I thought it would be. Just in general, I mean, they actually call out the tartness on here. Tart dry finish. Um, it is very much like champagne, like kind of tartness for me. Green apple, champagne vibes. And I can't understate that vanilla. I mean, they talk about it on there and, you know, you expect, okay, you know, you'll drink it. You get a little bit of kind of oak, fresh, fresh French vanilla oakiness off of the beer. It's really vibrant in here. It's a pretty aggressive beer. Six and change, not a huge beer, but it's really uh, throwing a lot at you at one time. Um, and it doesn't smell oxidized in any form or fashion. I wonder if they did. No, I thought maybe they did the kind of champagne cork kind of thing or champagne cap kind of thing on this. It smells quite nice. The tartness is kind of interesting. I'm curious to see where that goes. Let's see what's what. Cheers. That's fucking delicious. Man, that's good. That tartness is very, very, very subtle in the taste. It really gives way to this real a beautiful peppery, vanilla, oaky kind of um, saison. That pepper portion of the show with a little bit of bubblegum vibes is really the base of that kind of uh, yeast ester in there that kind of is accentuating just all those flavors. A nice soft wheat maltiness. Um, the vanilla in here is absolutely fantastic some of the best f vanilla from wood that i've had outside of a dark beer like a bourbon barrel aged beer that i've ever had and um the tannins are just dry enough to kind of act as the bittering component i'm sure there's still hops in here i'm sure there was hops at the beginning but again you're talking about a five-year-old beer four-year-old beer um it is uh you know waning quite a bit but that oak tannin is kind of held up and adds or completes or continues on that bittering component that a hops originally would have again belgian farmhouse ale not supposed to be overly hopped to begin with but it's really nice and you need that soft tannin to kind of balance off 
not the overly sweetness of it, but the adulty kind of sweetness, if that makes any sense. Because you know how there's a kid's dessert that's sugar and sugar and sugar, whereas adult desserts tend to be a little bit more refined, a little bit more kind of um, complex when it comes to the sweetness. That's kind of how this comes off. And that oak tannin is very much appreciated to kind of add a little bit of balance to that. Super fantastic mouthfeel. Absolutely beautiful mouthfeel. Like, it stops short of being champagne-like, but it's aggressive enough to give you a spritziness, but really has this kind of softness to it that's, again, probably the oak tannins adding to that kind of softness. This is a really good beer. Really, I, there's only one, man. I saw it, and I was like, fuck yeah. I'm going to buy all these. Six bucks? One. Only one. Pissed me off. Because I would have bought... If they had a case of this, I would have bought a case of it for six bucks. Because I was like, there's no way it's not going to be good. Because honestly... Outside of the Bourbon County line, which has, you know, changed quite a bit, especially when it came to the kind of infection stuff, the pasteurization of that when it went sideways that one year, and I think that was 2015, but the kind of, uh, the 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 lady line, the, um, the, the Sophies of the world, their kind of uh, Cezanne line is kind of similar to the Bourbon County as it went relatively untouched by AB and Bev. Uh, a lot of the other beers just went to mass production, yada, yada, yada. But this is one of the other ones that really kind of stayed true uh, to what Goose Island originally did. So I had no... I didn't think it was going to be kind of like a mass-produced kind of poopy version of what it originally was. I remember liking it. I remember enjoying it. I don't remember liking and enjoying it this much. It's beautiful. It is absolutely fantastic. I cannot wait to drink this whole thing. This beer is awesome. What do you want me to say? Um, yeah, let's talk about it. Is this one of the better Belgian-esque or Belgian-influenced saisons that I've had? Like, yes, it is Mount Rushmore status. It's that good, honestly. Because even from the nose, you get a lot of what's in there, but you get that nice little kind of, um, kind of fake out with that tartness and how big it is in the nose. And then you dive in the actual taste, and while it's there, it's not nearly as big. And then having all those components be so well-rounded from time. And so... Oh, what's the word I want to use? Welcoming? I don't even know. It's just that, you know, the wheat's nice. The mouth feels overly insane. The vanilla's beautiful. The oakiness. Everything about it just kind of works for me. So this is one of the better ones I've had, honestly. It's absolutely fantastic. And I just want all of it now. Um, let's see. Value to availability. I mean, age beer is kind of, you know, hit or miss, but... Six and change, six dollars, six and change dollars for seven fifty of this all day. Like I'm really angry they didn't have more bottles of this. Let's put it this way: if I only bought one bottle of this and I had four left, I would go there immediately tomorrow morning and buy the rest. That's how good it is. So if you see this on the shelf, buy it and leave you with if you like what we like this beer. If you like beer, pretty beer, that's what this beer is, pretty. I didn't even mention it throughout the whole review, but that's what it is. It's pretty beer. If you like pretty beer, well done beer, tasty beer, saison, all that fun stuff. It's just really good. So if you dig on these kind of beers, Farmhouse Saison, Belgian Saison, it's going to be hard-pressed to find something as good as this one. Plain and simple. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers. If you want to check me out doing the social media stuff, Beer Massive. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little bit of Saison right now. Hope we'll see you next time. Cheers.